Yeah, I'm ready to start. Great, so I've started recording and I'll hand over to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, hi everyone, and my name is E, and uh, today's my R ladies talk topic is about to um, using R as a tool for big data visualization. And uh, so actually the topic, uh, the data visualization in more simple words is how to view the data on a statistical graph rather than just view some numbers. So what's actually R doing for the data is takes the numbers from a data frame and then based on our personal requirements, for example, if we need to find some um, statistical inference like 95 confidence interval or the variance, we can just using some painting tools in R and to make numbers look more interesting and uh, fancy and then really can show the significant results. For example, here using the histogram or scatter plot to view the trend or the, the skewness. So why we need to use R? So um, in practical, the common type of data we easily can get is um, the numbers from different Excel file or or the data frame. And um, however, these tables could not provide any useful information when you just go through for first view. So you only can got the raw data. And for that reason, we need our graphical capability to help us by using the graphical analyze to make uh, to make it to change from colors, shape or text, help us to understanding the useful information that's behind the numbers. So there's various graphical um, types we can choose based on um, based on the R functions, and it's easy to interpret by you visualize it. Um, and uh, for the color of plotting graph, there's some default setting which needed in the R function, which is black. Uh, however, if you have many lines or you have many different categories, it will be a better idea that try to use various colors. So in addition, if you have some difficulty of choice the color, apply a random color will be a strategy to solve the problem. So in this graph, we focus on comparison of different trends for different years temperatures. So if we're using the default black lines or even with different type of lines, it's still hard for us to determine uh, year by year data, but when we drawing them in color, it makes more obvious for us to find a tendency. So this is why we use the colorful uh, colorful line one. And beside of using the colorful line to see the details of uh, details of for year, uh, individual year of data, sometimes we may need to see the overall shape. Um, for a bunch of annual data. Then we can use the gray shade to weaken the effect of individual data and put uh, more attention on the, our big picture, which in here we can easily recognize the whole picture of average pattern of our um, monthly rainfall data. And um, the previous two uh, examples are very easy to do on our function. And, but it's also acceptable if you want to make some own functions to plot on a graph um, based on your personal purpose. Um, for example, in here, I just, I would like to find the difference for 95 confidence interval for two different data frame. So I use the gray shade and the black line to draw the edge of the interval for one of the data frame, which is our original data frame. And for the other data frame, the one I made some uh, artificial missing values in here, I use the red line to draw the edge, but there's no shade for this, uh, for this, uh, for this intervals. So these two lines help us um, to find out even a very slightly difference between these two data frames. So rather than just using two plots uh, separately, it can put in it can put two data frame in one plot. It's make more um, much more easier to view the difference. And um, in so in our graphical capabilities, using lines and dots as two common methods to illustrate data. So previous examples are all using lines to represent the data. These are 
um, there are some situations that dots plots are more fascinating than using lines. So for example, in here, in these two plots, we would like to dig out and the comparison of extreme values in annual temperatures. So each dots here are clear, uh, showing the minimum and the maximum temperature for um, for each year. So we can compare for year by year and we can see very clear which is the maximum and where is the minimum. So also the change of the color in dots are based on the value of temperature change. So if the temperature is higher and we can make it color more close to red and if the color is cooler then we can um, make it to blue or green one. So so based on different aspects of viewing data, we can choose different type of um, ways to represent data in our plot or the graphs. So in conclusion, learning how to use R as a tool to draw some statistical graph is an attractive way for understanding the data from both our daily or academic fields. So I think it's, um, it may bring the interest for further statistical analyzing studies. For myself, I also motivate myself um, myself to doing some R graphical to help me understanding what's the um, statistical inference using in our um, research or um, studies. Yeah, so thank you. This is what I talk about for today's topic. Yeah, and... Uh,